Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Rav, and today, episode 122 of the Pokemon Journeys anime aired in Japan. This episode showcased the first semi-final battle of the Masters A tournament, Leon vs Diantha. We also got to see some training segments from Ash and Cynthia, alongside the backstory of Cynthia meeting her Gibble through their childhood. Besides this, some new information has surfaced about the upcoming Ash vs Cynthia battle, alongside further details. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and I'm sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you're not ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. Firstly, let's start off by talking about some new details revealed during the week. Unfortunately, it's bad news. It's being confirmed that Ash's Japanese voice actor, Rika Matsumoto, and Ash's original dub voice actor, Veronica Taylor, have both got COVID. Nothing is being confirmed if Rika-san catching the virus will delay her work in the series. We wish both Rika and Veronica safety and a speedy recovery. Next, we have a new title for episode 125, being confirmed as semi-final part 4, Impact Shock. The episode will air on the 16th of September, fully confirming that Ash vs Cynthia will be three and a half episodes long. I really wonder how Ash is going to turn this battle around, especially seeing as we know Cynthia is going to dominate at the beginning. We know the retiring champion will make her final mark in the battle, so it's going to see how all of these elements will be portrayed in it as well. In regards to Ash vs Leon, I'm starting to suspect and hope that the battle will be four episodes long. Episode 125 is the final portion of the Ash vs Cynthia episode. If episodes 126 and 127 get confirmed as Go Project Mew focused episodes, then that means episodes 128 to 131 will be Ash vs Leon, including the conclusion of the Journey series. I also wonder if the weakness OST was actually being saved for Ash to overcome Cynthia in a tricky situation, allowing him to win and elevate to battle Leon. Maybe it will be used in the Ash vs Leon battle as well. Who knows? Now let's dive into today's episode and explore my thoughts about it. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. Okay, let's start with the good stuff. We got an insight to how Cynthia met her Garchomp back as a Gibble during its time being housed in its egg. I really enjoyed this, because after all the years, we finally get to know the history of how these icons became champion alongside cared for each other. Just learning about how they grew up together as well was really wholesome. Cynthia also explained how massaging and caring for her Pokemon was a great way to show off her caring character. I really enjoyed the bonding she shared with Ash including the relation to Lucario. It just goes to show how very similar both of these characters are with one another. These are literally the only good things about this episode. Now let's talk about bad. No, let's talk about terrible. Leon vs Diantha was a disaster. It was a disaster because all of the actual plot. How the heck are they skipping this semi-final battle all because of a gossip flaw evolving? Like, don't get me wrong, the two kids with Ash and Cynthia were really wholesome, but I'm sorry, Diantha was done dirty and she deserved much more. The way she played a reverse card to divert G-Max Wildfire back to Charizard with Psychic was great. Like, it just shows how amazing and strategic Diantha can be, even having Thunderbolt ready to deal damage on Charizard too. Rillaboom is just broken as heck, like taking a super effective move against it and sweeping Diantha's team before even getting knocked out just goes to show how insane it is. I'm sorry but this battle was rushed, skipped and most of it was ruined. Diantha deserved much better. Yes we know she was going to lose but the main thing is that she didn't even get full screen time to portray how she was in that battle. Like I seriously borderline despised this battle just for the way it didn't flesh out the full thing. I'm gonna wait for subs to learn more about it but I'm just so damn disappointed. Ash vs Cynthia is next though, and I'm really looking forward to it, and I can't wait for the Generation 9 Scarlet and Violet anime because I'm seriously just done with journeys at this point. But why not let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter, and join the Team PokerF Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen, and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like, as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on my videos, and click on the little bell, to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.